All right, let's call it the uh, April 3rd, 2024 Town of Charlton Water Sewer Commission meeting. Uh, anybody here from the public would like to speak? All right, hearing none, moving on to uh, warrants, minutes, and abatements. All right, can I get a motion to approve the minutes of March 6, 2024? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from March as written. Can I get a second? Second. Uh, Roll call vote, please. Mr. Bernard? Aye. Mr. McClam? Aye. Mr. Cantwell? Aye. All right. Could I have a motion to approve the warrants in the dollar amount of seventy six thousand two hundred and one and fifteen cents? I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Uh, Mr. Bernard. Yep. Aye. Uh, Mr. McLam. Aye. Mr. Cantwell. Aye. Great. Vinny, you're on. All right. We're going to be covering the monthly operating report for February 2024. The plant was staffed by myself, Grant Krisiak, Zachary Campbell, and Amy Nassis. In February, we completed the Veolia monthly inspection report. We did some training in-house. It was wastewater math as well as basic municipal wastewater, and those were hosted by New EPIC. Compliance for the month of February, there are no exceedances to report. The DMR mm -hmm. completed and entered in the, the CDX on March 15th. First quarter toxicity testing was performed and the facility passed. Operation and maintenance activities. We had more problems with the EQ pumps. While troubleshooting, we removed EQ pump 2B. We had Lafleur out here. And they discovered the wireways were filled with sludge and water. So they spent many hours cleaning out the wireways and putting drain holes in and little bug screens and took care of that problem. We were able to get another pump up and going at that time. We made some more covers for the ends of the RBCs. The RBCs splashed just a little bit of mixed liquor out here and there, and it really makes the plant look dirty. So we're trying to contain that into the RBCs with the covers we've been making, and so far they're working out well. We installed and calibrated a new pH probe in the flash mixer. That's just a periodic maintenance item there. They go bad. We made a pressure treated deck and we mounted it over a manhole in the yard. And the reason for putting it over the manhole is the new soda ash feeder. We mounted it onto that deck and now we're feeding soda ash into the beginning of EQ tank one, side B. It seems to I be get, working better in that location. I gotta tell you, Vinny, I saw that uh, little thing, that they, the little deck you guys made, it looks it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's sturdy, it ain't going anywhere. Yeah. You'd probably pack your truck on it. Yeah, it looks good. Anyhow, so we calibrated the alkalinity analyzer. It was giving us some funny reading, so we just cleaned it and recalibrated it. Um, we core drilled a couple of holes in the concrete. We're going to add some new sensors to the end of EQ tank one. We already have the sensors and we actually have the equipment to read them. So no cost there, just the time of drilling the holes. Uh, we cleaned up the wiring around Sue's desk, made that look pretty. We ordered a gantry crane for the upcoming Comag project. We had a contractor in to look at this project and they were schedule, scheduling several months out just to remove the drum. So we believe the staff at the plant's capable of this. So we ordered that gantry crane, it's in place now. And we had to order a longer I-beam to make the project work out, but that should be in this week. The team plowed and shoveled during the snowstorms in the month. The collection system activities on the 6th and the 18th, we collected samples from the MTAs. Um, we spent several days reading and rereading the water meters and attempting to repair any defective equipment. And those efforts really helped. When I read meters this quarter, we only had six meters that didn't read, which is really good. We had an emergency dig safe called in at night on Partridge Hill Road. The operator came in and then 
realized we had nothing in the area, so it was easy. I met with the contractors out at the Route 20 pump station to go over the upgrades and what's expected, and they should be breaking ground on that any time now. The pump station activities, we did the weekly alarm tests. Jay Hammond, both pumps were tripped out. We got an alarm for it. We're assuming it was a power surge because we reset them and they both worked fine without any issues. They weren't ragged up or anything, so really not sure. We're just guessing a power surge. Um, Stevens Park, the pumps ragged up. We pulled them and cleaned them. Glen Echo Shores, same issue. We had to pull the pumps and clean them once. And then Mugget Hill lost power, and we had to call Slims out to pump out that wet well before we had an issue. It was without power for several hours. We hauled six loads of sludge to Cranston for disposal. We got two 275-gallon totes of caustic delivered. And we also awarded 4,000 gallons of ferric, and that was delivered. We had two grinder pump calls during the month, both on sunset. One was at 41. We replaced the pump and scheduled Ed LaFord Electric to upgrade the breakers. The other one was at 11 sunset and it had a bad float, so we replaced the float tree. That concludes the MOR for February 2024. Any questions? Vinny, I just have a quick question. Um, when you met with the contractors for the Route 20 uh, upgrade there with the pump station, how, how did that go? Were they on the same page that we are? Are we getting everything that we're hoping to get over there? I believe the project's going to come out great. They ordered everything I asked for. Okay. And it looks like as of now, they're going to be having Slims take care of the project. So okay. Slims is a really hands-off option for me. He takes care of everything. You know, he hooks his trucks up and pumps the sewer as it's needed. And he really just manages the projects well. They give you any type of time frame for a completion for that uh, pump station? Um, when I talked to Gabe, he was saying 45 days from when they start. Okay. It should be a lot less, but... They got to move the power into the pump station. So there's going to be new power feeds in. They're putting new wet wells in, uh, pumps, new piping in the in the dry area. So it's a lot of work, but nothing unreasonable. Perfect. That was now, the only question uh, I had. A note that you wanted to talk about the connex and the spill containments. Yeah. And I'm hoping we're going to move forward and be able to purchase those, that one more Connex and uh, two spill containments. I, I have no uh, no problem with that. We've, we've talked about uh, the Connex boxes for several meetings now, and I, I, I we're going to get the one where we build it out, correct, Vinny? Yes, sir. Uh, we need a motion for that, Sue. You're sure. on mute, Sue. Yes, we do. And it yep. would be wonderful if we had a dollar amount to attach to it. I gave dollar amounts with the presentation. I know. And I know yeah. Russ wanted it to be carried over to this meeting because of the decision that needed to be made. Yeah, I don't I don't have the number um on me, I don't believe. Previously purchased Connex was around four thousand dollars. And the spill containments were, I believe, sixteen hundred a piece. I mean, if we said eighteen hundred a piece, we'd probably be really close. There's probably shipping on those too because they're large items. Uh, so how about approving eight thousand dollars for the uh, Connex? Does that make sense, Vinny? Four thousand for the box and four thousand for the other. Can we go with nine just in case there's any surprises on the shipping? Sure. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they're six or seven hundred dollars a piece to ship those things. Gotcha. All right, guys, I'd like to um, uh, have somebody make a motion, uh, if possible, for uh, nine thousand dollars for a Connex box and um, outfitting uh, stuff for Vinny for the containment. I'll make a motion to spend nine thousand dollars to buy the containment and the spills. Can I get second. a second? Perfect. Roll call vote, please, Sue. Mr. Bernard? Aye. Mr. McClam? Aye. Mr. Cantwell? Aye. 
Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, anything else from you, Vinny? No, that's it. Um, All right. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, 645 Dan Prouty, uh, Center Depot Road Sewer Connection. He canceled last minute tonight. Oh, he um, like, okay. He'd like to be moved uh, to the next agenda. Okay. Like this, that would be May. Yep. Um, new business, um, water sewer department consultant. Um, as, as you guys know, as we uh, shrunk the department down um, after Pete left, um, we, we're looking to bring on uh, somebody that uh, has some advanced knowledge with uh, engineering and whatnot. So we put together a um, sewer consult consultant um, contract and uh, let me just find my notes here. Here we go. Sorry, guys. Um, I'd like to recommend that Central Mass Municipal Consulting um, as the water and sewer um, department consultant, um, a one-year contract at uh, $10,000. And if I can get that approved. Do we need a motion? Yes, yes we please. do. Okay. I'll make a motion to rec to hire Central Mass Municipal Consulting. Second. Roll call vote, please, Sue. Mr. Bernard? What? Aye. Mr. McClam? Sure. Aye. Mr. Cantwell? Aye. Okay. Um, the next is the gate at the uh, plant, the upgrade. So at the last meeting, we decided to not spend that big amount of money and get a quote for what we have. Two of the contractors did refund. What was that? Refund. Lick me. Mr. Spiewak, if you could put your uh, phone on mute, please. Sorry. No problem. Go ahead, Sue. Um, two out of the three requoted, um, and they range quite a bit in price, and I'm not sure which path you guys want to choose. Yeah, um, priority quoted us 90, I, I attached the quote to the packet. Um, priority was 98.79, and then Steadfast had options ranging from $900 to 11.8. Um, I, I, from what I read, Sue, that that 11.8 uh, um, figure is is pretty much what priority fence um quoted at ninety eight seventy nine. Oh, okay. I, I I that's how I understood it. Okay. Okay. Um, so with, I guess with that being said, priority fence is uh, several thousand dollars cheaper. Mm -hmm. Uh, if somebody can make a motion uh to to. to spend 98.79 with priority fence for uh of repairs of the gate that would be fantastic I'll i can make a motion to you oh go ahead you can do it <laughs> all right make a motion to leverage priority fence for the gate for 98.70 something 79 yep 79 i'll second roll call vote please sue mr bernard aye mr mcclam aye and Mr. Cantwell. Aye. Awesome. All right, moving on to other business unknown at time of posting. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Hold on one second. Never mind. I was just going to bring up the next meeting because at the last meeting, Russ talked about having one because the elections is at first Saturday in May. And I wasn't sure if there's going to be one the per, like before the election or after the election. Um, I think we should have one more meeting before the election, if possible. Is that will that still be in May? Yeah, May first. May first. But see, and then the next meeting after that is when normally most committees reorganize reorganize on like who's going to be chairman, who's going to be vice. Yeah, so okay. we can do that in June, right? If you want to. Yeah. Yep. 
I think that's the way we should go is uh, have a meeting May 1st and then have a meeting in June and we'll uh, we'll, we'll get the new board organized um, in June. Okay. All right. Um, another thing um, under old business guys, just so you know, um, Sue put in her resignation uh, today and her last day will be uh, the 18th with the uh, sewer department. So I would uh, like to have a motion to accept her resignation. You can't make a motion because it wasn't on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. It wasn't on the agenda. So we will uh we'll do that, I guess, at the next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh thank you, Sue, for uh your years of service. I think you've been here for six or more years and uh you've done a bang up job and, and we uh we appreciate you and we're sorely gonna miss you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um all right, can I get a motion to uh have them do I need a motion for a meeting in May? No, nope, just nope. discussed, right? No, nope, just how about a motion to adjourn? That's it. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All right, Mr. McClam. Aye. Mr. Bernard. Aye. Hey, Mr. Cantwell. Aye. Great. Thank you. Thank Thanks you, Sue. Guys. Have a good evening. Thank, Thank you, guys. Have a great night.